YouTube. Hola, buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? Yo estoy bien. Me love chihuahuas. This video is going to be my vanity. To mm. Welcome back to another video. Um, if you guys are coming back, I mean, if you guys are coming from the my introduction video, and you guys watched it all, gracias. I think I'm saying, um, I really appreciate it. But this video is going to be my vanity tour. I'm gonna say tutorial. I don't know. And, well, kind of because I am going to be um linking and telling you guys where I got um, my DIY vanity stuff. So stay tuned to make your own amazing vanity well for me so this is my vanity as you guys can't see um we're going to start off right here i got this word thingy from forever 21 i believe it was like five dollars or something don't correct me am i wrong but um i got it forever 21 so you can get your self one at your local forever 21 i like to keep it off though because it's too much light um Next, I'm going to be um, talking to you guys about my mirror and my light. My mirror I got from Forever Tw no, Okay, everything's not for Forever 21 Perla. I got my mirror from Burlington and the lights from Wish. Yes, I got it from Wish. I will link, if I find a link, I'll link it down below. It took like two or three weeks to get here. My mirror, obviously, I went to go buy it in Burlington myself. It was just $20.00. The lights from Wish were $22, I believe. So, yes. Um, go to your local... Br okay. Go to your local Burlington and you guys will find a bunch of mirrors that are beautiful. I got this one just because it was like marbly type. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to be talking about the actual IKEA muebles. Okay. And the tabletop. Um, I got these from actual, I got these from at Michael's because the one from Ikea's are really expensive and these at Michael's were like 20 each I believe. I'm not sure. I'm going to link everything down below so you guys can see all of that. Um, and I built it myself. You have to obviously construct it yourself and I just put it from side to side and I got this tabletop tabletop I don't know why I keep saying tabletop like it's a tater top or something but I got this handy dandy tabletop yeah I got it from Home Depot it's like a tabletop and I'll link it down below I think this is like 14 like cheap as hell and my chair I got it from Burlington as well it was very cheap it was 20 or 40 I'm not sure and then the rug I got it from Ross they have a bunch of like furry rugs I was gonna get the bigger one but I just wanted it for this little area right here so yeah so now I'm going to be talking about everything that I have on top and then inside the drawers okay so this brush set actually belongs over here in this little space but I have it here because it holds my phone for the moment um it is the AOA studio brush set I forgot I think it's like um animal free I mean not animal free animal cruelty free um so yeah you guys you guys should get these brushes these brushes work so good and then over here I also have have half this jar that I do myself it's pretty much like little jewels and with like sparkles in it okay and then I have these brushes I have these makeup brushes so I mean I can talk about them like but it's probably gonna take too much time so yeah. I have these brushes as well um it's not from right here um these is just like a candle jar <laughs> literally but I DIY this jar because I put in um these jewels with with glitter so I can hold my brushes good and yeah you just get a local jar clean the shit out of it and decorate it and i got the normal brushes i got anastasia beverly hill dip Bro brush and i have the morphe okay, focus. 
and 441 brush. Okay. And I have a lot of AOA Studio brushes. All these that you see with black and silver are all AOA Studio, as you can see. Um, I have this big AOA Studio fan brush. And then I have an ELF fan brush and an ELF flat brush as well. And then in this corner is just like stuff like I don't even need. This is a place. No, I do not cut myself. I just have it here to open boxes and stuff when I get packages. Um, because it's usually makeup packages, so, yeah. Sorry, my shit's, like, not organized, like, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I have my Tresemme heat protective spray right here. I have my oil-free makeup remover here from Neutrogena. Neutrogena. And I have some cotton cloths, which I need to refill. I have just this plastic container, because instead of having, literally, instead of having this out just here, I, like, just organize and put it in there. But honestly, I'm really out because I take out my eyebrows and my makeup every day at night. So, yeah. And I just have this perfume that's right here. Okay. And, yeah. And my beauty blender is supposed to be over here, but it just bounced. So, over here, I just have these containers. These plastic containers, you guys can find it at Forever 21. I got both of these from Forever 21. Like, at a very cheap price. Like, probably $4.99 or something like that. Um, let's start off over here. I have my Urban Decay um, All Nighter Foundation. Um, in the shade of 4.0, so, yeah, I have this foundation, I have my Milani, um, Conceal Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation Concealer in the color or shade 06 Sand Beige. Oops. I'm making a mess, you guys, y'all know how nervous I am, Jesus. Okay, I also have this old foundation of mine, but I still kind of use it for, like, when I do my mom's makeup and stuff. It's the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse, and this is, like... Like medium to full coverage foundation, it's really good. It's an airbrush finish and in the shade 70 pure beige. And I also have my Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Foundation in the shade of 115 Ivory. I like to mix these two together because it's too light and too dark for me, so it together makes like a perfect match. And matte and uh, matte and airbrush finish is like perfect. Anyways, um, over here moving on to like like primers and settings and stuff okay so uh, over here i have my nars concealer in the shade okay and it shade light 2.8 i also have two of my favorite two of my one favorite mascara and uh, one probably is older than the other like literally you can see it doesn't have the name anymore but this is my newest one it's the same it's just my newest one it's the colossal volume express by Maybelline. this works so good as well and I also have two Asian ones. This one has like nothing. I'm just like throw it. Okay. Uh, this one is my Asian wine concealer. This is what I use just to like correct my eyebrows and stuff. And yeah, this is what I'm gonna use on my under eyes and corrections. And this is just what I use for my eyebrows and little dark circles and spots that I may have for me. Moving on over here, I have an e.l.f. primer. Oh wait, I forgot this. I have my Benefit Poreless, the Professional Pore Primer. Um, I have the little one because I okay, just too broke to buy the big one. Um, I also have my Handy Dandy Elf Hydrating Face Primer. I remember when these first came, ever came out and I got in the hold of one of these and probably, like, it was like two or three, probably the most, four dollars. Now they're like ten dollars just for one. Like, these are supposed, like, these are getting good up there, you know? And then next to that, on this little square, I have my Mario Badescu Skin Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe Earth. And I like this one. Now I'm going on. I over here have an e.l.f. matte majestic mist and set setting spray. It's almost out. That's why I got my Mario Badescu, but I need to buy an actual setting spray. Um, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, dip brow pomade in the shade. Okay. Dip brow pomade in the shade dark brown. Sorry, it's taking like a minute to find out. I have these little brushes. This is like my mom's, I think. I'm just going to use it here because when I do her makeup, she's like, what size is it? And I don't use it no more. Like, I don't really use it on hers. Ever since I got my beauty blender, she wants me to use that now. But this is her little like Maybelline thing that came with the package that she bought one day. And over here, I just have in this two. I have my Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Eyeliner, and I have my Duo Adhesive for my eyelashes. I have this cheap as hell eyeliner that my mom uses. We used to use, and I don't know why it's still here because now we got this one. Um, I also have three ColourPop liquid lipsticks. I have Stud Mystic, I think this is Mystic, and Rain. These Over here, I just have my Infect Mini camera. Over here, I have this mirror. Yo, it's so fun. Um, yeah, I got this at Burlington. Look how cute it is. I think I know you're Burlington. My boyfriend thought he was like, do you need one? Like, I already had 
like a little one and he saw this one. He's like, this one's so much cuter. Let me get you this one. It is by Bino Vanity Mirror. It was in Burlington. So, yeah, like, I have ball holders and everything. Gang, gang. Okay, and it's still cringy. Over here is where I have, like, scents and, like, extra bullshit that I don't really need, but it's pretty. Um, I have my doll right here. Her name is Becky. Uh, she, I have her because, look at her ugly bangs that I cut her when I had her, like, for the first time ever. Um, I got her from cosmetology class. Um, I also have Bath and Body Works. Perfume, a thousand wishes, lotion for men, that's a little bath and body work. I have two hands inside, so I'm trying to like speak on that, because I'm like, you just put the top, and I still got the drawers, and I'm just like, sheesh, and I'm gonna finish. Um, so yeah, sorry for this long video. Okay, I can't stand this up to the camera. I have a candle that I like to lit up, just when I want to start smelling good. It's a scented jar candle, yeah. and then I have my super soft body butter, Shia butter plus coconut oil. It's pretty as peach from Bath and Body Works. I have a little hand lotion from, um, Bodycology. It's like a moisturizing body cream that I use it for my hands. Um, I have this like little... Hold on, guys. I have this little shell that my boyfriend gave me when he went into a vacation. In 2015, he got me this for me. And like have my name engraved and everything. It's so cute. Like, this thing is forever my baby. I'm always going to have it here because I love him so much. And I have a Rue 21 perfume. I have this little like puff thingy that came in one of the makeup. But I just put these little two um, stones or whatever in it. Because they're so cute. And I got it from... Um, from Georgia Aquarium, and then I got my makeup perfume, and then I have this little shelf from the baby shower in there too, and then over here is just like a heart shaped type jar with like tape and like what holds hand sanitizer and Anastasia Beverly Hills and like tweezers and chokers and stuff like that that I really use, and, like just extra stuff. Now we're going to finally move into the drawers. I'm trying to look flash for this one. Okay, so my first top left drawer is all my eyeshadow palettes i know i don't have a lot but it's just enough for right now i don't have a big collection so don't come at me i have my color pop oops color pop give it to me straight eyeshadow palette has cute cute colors i mean shades and i also have my little tart let tease a little palette i keep trying to like mistaken my words and oops sorry and it has a beautiful neutral shade as well yes that girl couldn't get that full package here this was a present for christmas i think from a friend of mine to an ex friend of mine let me take this tape off this is what i freaking do to align my eyes sorry it was bad um it's the illuminate palette from bh cosmetic by ashley tisdale the beach goddess palette um Jesus, can I open it? It's right here. It's really pretty. I rarely use this one. I even sometimes forget I have it. Okay, now moving on to my Morphe palette. Of course, your girl just copped her Jaclyn Hill palette. It's looking like a mess. I glue this little plastic, not glue, but take this little plastic thing on the top because every time I open it, I do not want to have to take it out. And so, yeah, this is my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I use it like every day or well, whenever I do my makeup. This is like my go-to palette now. This is, I have another favorite Morphe palette. This is the 35-0. Okay, I'm going to just do it like this. I have my Morphe palette. This one I still have a little thing on it. I like, just hold on to it. These are all natural colors, as you guys can tell. It's really, really beautiful. And this is my first oh i got this one and the other palette i'm about to show you together but i will always go to this one and i'll tell you guys why because look how like you know like i couldn't work with so many shades but at least i could work more shades with this one and the one the other one i have which i'm about to show you guys i also have sorry about the chubby um uh, this other morphe palette this is the 35t palette and these are all like dark shades but that's why I guess I don't really use it. Um, if anybody wants it, like, you guys can comment down below if you guys might be interested in getting it. I did use it quite a few times. It's mainly glitters, a few a few mattes here and there, you know, sorry, here and there. And But there's, like, mainly glitter. And if anybody's interested in getting it, I will, like, ship it to you guys. Like, um, I don't really use it because of all the dark colors. Like, I have enough dark colors in my other shade palettes. So, I already used that one. Okay, going on with this drawer this drawer is pretty much like a hair drawer or whatever um it's just i have clips for when i do my makeup i have bobby pins when i do my hair i got ligas hair ties brushes i mean a brush movie ticket sorry and two like bun thingies like nothing really 
Wow. And right here I got my two straighteners. This is my old one. This is my brand new one. I go with my straightener now. And then more down here I just have more like stuff. Just junk, you know. I don't think I got anything. Oh, right here I keep like all my packaging. I don't know why. Like, I just put, like just in case when I move, I just put it in there. Instead of putting it in the box where they all like crack and stuff. Okay, moving on to my right hand side. I have two contour, two contour, one highlight. And I'll just show you guys. This is how it looks. You guys, I hope you guys can see this. You'll probably see my double chin. But, um, first things first, I'm going to pull out is my first ever contour uh, palette. This is my first ever contour palette. It's from e.l.f. And, as you guys can see, I hit pan with this shade. And, not with this one. This, I never use these two. Just the contour, but mainly this one, as you guys can see. This was my first ever contour palette. Like, it, it, it was so good, you guys. Like, for beginners, if you guys are going cheap. I recommend it. Probably not. It. You guys are probably like you probably. Blah, blah, blah. You guys probably have tested this one out. And you're probably like, ew, it's not even a good palette or whatever. It does work. Like for me, it was an amazing first beginner's contour palette. So I am recommending it. But obviously, not everybody's skin type is the same. So yeah. Um. Next thing, it's my first ever highlighting palette. I am about to get a Anastasia one. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, like I choked or something. I have the Endu Endo from ColourPop. This is my first highlighting palette. It has really nice blinding highlights on here. This is these right here. I'm going to go to um, these right here. I might like go to like highlight these and this, these, this one and this one. And then these, I barely, like I rarely use them. So, yeah, you got yourself like a natural and then like a purpley shade and more darker shades. So, yeah. Like more body shades. Change my fingers. Are. Okay, next I have my. Okay, see that's why I should have cleaned my hands because this is brand new. Um, uh, R.I.P. pants. Okay, um, this is my brand new item adding to the collection. It is the shade and light contour palette by Clint Von D. I am so happy, you guys, that I finally got this. This is so much way more pigmented than the Elf. So obviously I wasn't used to it. And the first day I was like, like I had like sharp, 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 um, contour. So yeah, this is my contour shade and light Kat Von D palette. Sorry, I'm trying to cover the mirror so you guys don't see reflection. But yeah, I love it so far. I have little products as well as here. My first ever like contour cream stick. This is the Master Contour by Maybelline, I believe. Yeah. And this is my mom. She has like a little powder from CoverGirl, I believe. You know, it's kind of old. But she uses it for the mirror mainly. I have, oh no, this is my first ever highlighting. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the highlighting powder. This is a good highlighter as well if you guys want to go cheap the wet and wild um highlighters are really 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 good let me start putting stuff back um what else i have my baking this is my first ever baking powder i really didn't know about makeup back then as much as i do now i am trying to finish it like i literally have like a little bit left um i bake with this and i set my makeup with this sometimes you know um i am going to get the airspun one i'm not going to go buy the laura messier one yet because you know your girl ain't got money like that i'm just gonna go get the airspun one because i know that one's like a dupe like a really good one for from um from a how do you say it? a store drug store and so yeah i'm almost done with it I'm just kidding. Okay, like it's, it works really well. I have also an e.l.f. What is this? Flawless face powder. I don't ever remember getting this. I think I did get it, but I didn't really use it because I thought, like, I don't know. I used it like one time and then I never used it again. And I have a hard candy blendable concealer duo. This was my concealer back in the day, but I didn't really like. Well, it's really good. But I just didn't like it for my, my skin type, so I didn't just stopped using it and. That's all I have. I have like chargers for my speaker and stuff, so that's not really important. I'm so sorry this video is long. Moving on to this one is my eyelashes. Nothing special, just I got the Kiss eyelashes. I never use these. These are like all used. Um, I got dirty napkins here just like to wipe off makeup from like if I drop something like on my white thingy, which is isn't so white no more. Um, I just hurry up and like try to clean it off before it dries. Um, here I got like try samples I get sent um when I every time I order I just put it all in here like so I can get a whole collection of it and then maybe in the future I use it. So you guys that was the end of my vanity tour. I showed you guys pretty much like a makeup collection video as well because I showed you guys like all the stuff I had. Um, I am going to be getting new products obviously like a new highlighting palette and more brushes like I need more brushes like those brushes. 
are getting worn out like new ones please so this is pretty much like a vanity tour slash makeup collection video i hope you guys really liked it um i will go in more depth i guess on another like video if I didn't I if I didn't do so well of explaining um, like the DIY process of this whole um, vanity you guys can comment down, down below you guys go check them out they're like 20 um, each I believe um or 18 I forgot and the tabletop I got it from Home Depot it's just a normal tabletop I placed on top you guys it's like 18 or 12 or something it's really affordable link down below also got my Burlington mirror the from Burlington, I just said it, sorry. Um, I got it from Burlington. I got my lights from uh Wish. I'll link that one down below. There's a lot of different ones, but I'll show you the exact same one I got it from so that way you know it actually comes and not just take your money. Because you guys, I've I ordered lights before and then I was like, Why is Wish taking forever to send them to me? And I didn't know my thing was um refunded back to me because the buyer didn't send it to me. So I you know, it was my mistake for not checking the reviews. Check the reviews on this one and they actually got their stuff, so I bought one. And the little light up there that says beauty, of course. Told you guys I got it from Forever 21. All the little makeup organizers, Forever 21, Mirror, Burlington, the little mirror that I have, Burlington. And my chair I got from Burlington as well. So that's pretty much it. Um I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I talk too much. I told you guys in my introduction I talked too much. Um, so I'm going to try to cut this down as low as I can. But, you know, I did talk about every little thing I had here in specific detail, I guess you guys can say. So I am so sorry if the video ends up being long. But no more rambling. I am done with this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos from me. I am new to this YouTube thing, so please have time for me, like, to, like, adjust to this. Like, I'm so sorry if I'm horrible, if quality's not good, you couldn't hear me, or, like, I was moving and shaking too much. I'm so sorry. I will do my best to get a little to get better. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.